there is a really big problem with access to affordable education. So the fact that students have already jumped through whatever hurdles and hoops to get to college, and then students are having to drop their classes, they're failing, or they're trying to cram a whole you know, semester within 14 days of free access is really disheartening. The publisher, uh, they are business, and uh, they want to make money. Libraries as institutions have to work with publishers and our vendors um, and the options they give us for purchasing are a little bit different than for students or individuals. What options we do have are often licenses that only allow one user at a time to access the online content. This is an opportunity and every problem has an opportunity. The problem is, how can we educate students? We found a way, OER is one of those solutions that we're presenting. The University of Texas at Arlington Libraries provides support for planning, creating, publishing, and distributing open educational resources through MAPS Open Press. There is a big difference uh, between MAP Open Press and the traditional publishing. Uh, MAP Open Press offer no cost services for uh, UD faculty who wish to publish open access publications uh, such as uh, journals, monographs, and OERs. And they also retain the copyright in their publications. We embrace an iterative and transparent approach to publishing that prioritizes accessibility and student agency. We want to empower UTA educators and help them understand their intellectual property rights. We teach them how to legally and ethically build off the work of others and how to share their own scholarship. So we find in courses that have migrated to OER, um, the drop-fail withdrawal rate decreases and grades um, significantly increase. By building a community of educators who are informed about OER and open publishing and who witness the impact of customization on student learning and engagement, we are making a UTA education more affordable and eliminating barriers that prevent too many students from being successful. So what we find from UTA students surveyed, 94% uh, of students impacted by the program say the quality of the OER is the same or better than traditional course materials. And 96% of students say ease of access for the OER is the same or better than traditional course materials. So I really do think overall that we need to put OER more so at the forefront of things that we need to be implementing. I really do think this is important. And the more students that know about it, every single student that knows about it is completely behind it. The good news is that this is just the beginning. This OER will continue to be written and readjusted until, until who knows when. Hopefully someone will take my lead and then keep building on that OER.